As President Trump discusses a number of issues with President Putin, one issue many in our area are paying attention to is the recent tariffs imposed on certain goods exported to foreign countries. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstat spoke with Southside farmers today about their concerns. The two farmers I spoke to today say the tariffs will definitely have a big impact. In fact, one said he's already noticing the impact. But interestingly, he also said he welcomes the tariffs. With extra taxes being placed on numerous Chinese goods, China is placing extra taxes on U.S. goods in retaliation. For the last 15 to 20 years, I mean, everything that we've, we've been sending overseas, uh, it's, it's just not been traded fairly. I mean, it, you know, we're, we're bringing stuff in, there's no tariff on it, and everything we're sending out, you know, it, it's, just, it's just not fair. Halifax County farmer Garland Comer says the price of soybeans has dropped from $10 a bushel to $8.20 a bushel in the last two months as a result of the tariffs. He produces around 25,000 bushels a season, meaning the tariffs will cost him about $45,000. It's really not a good thing when, when the farmers are the ones that are the first ones that have to take the brunt hit of it, but I do think it needs to be done. Pennsylvania County farmer Robert Mills says the exact impact the tariffs will have on his operation is unknown. Really, it's still too early in the process. You know, for us, I, I'm a poultry grower, a beef cattle grower, and a tobacco producer. Like Comer, he agrees that tariffs are necessary. We may have some pains right now in the short term, but in the long term, it makes us a stronger country and it makes our products even stronger in the world market. For more information about these tariffs, check out this story on our website, WSLS.com. In Pennsylvania County, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.